problem we had. Huh? Dark. Yeah, man. Chill, man. How y'all feel? to the Rolex wearing, diamond ring wearing, wheeling, dealing, limousine riding, jet flying, son of a gun, and I'm having a hard time holding these alligators down, woo, styling and profiling, woo, showtime. Welcome to Defend the Hustle. Buffalo always keeps it a buck. I can guarantee you most of the audience is going to agree with me before they agree with you. Lock in, because Buffalo is about to... Crack your cranium and fertilize your brain. Go ahead and... Right here, right now. You go ahead. Subscribe and share now. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to the Fin the Hustle episode number eight our special guest tonight is new england cajun which he changed the name and kind of threw me off but uh everybody know johnny johnny has been a regular uh visitor and a guest on our show and uh constantly support the channel so uh panel go ahead and introduce yourself and then we're going to get around to our special guest uh chris one half of the glass city pickers what's going on part-time reseller Full time, everything, all the way around. YouTube down to anywhere you want to go. I'm here. Happy Friday. What's up, Johnny? Same old, same old. Just another day. The middleman middle man picker, part time reseller, um, uh, full time truck driver, ex veteran. Well, not ex veteran. I'm a veteran. <laughs> Can't be an ex veteran. <laughs> How everybody doing tonight? Happy Friday. We That's got right. three. We got three vets on the show tonight. Um, so uh, I am Buffalo Picker, uh, part-time reseller, full-time federal employee, also retired military. Our special guest tonight, as I stated earlier, is uh, New England Cajun, um, and uh, we all know uh, go by the name of Johnny. We all know him as Johnny, um, and Johnny has a lot going on uh, with his channel with changes uh so i'm gonna let johnny get into it talk about i'm, I'm uh, definitely uh curious about the change with his logo i like that um when i when i received it the first day i said when I, I saw it i was like man that is nice so johnny go ahead and talk about uh basically your channel what you got going on and uh tell us a little bit about your uh mindset and and how you chose your uh logo all right. I'm uh, also New England Cajun, which the reason I picked that name is because I'm originally from Louisiana, born and raised. And it'll be five years this June that I moved here to Massachusetts. So when I lost my channel again for the second time, why not change it? 
So that's why I went with New England because I now live in New England and I am still a Cajun born and raised. So that's how I came out with the new name and the little new logo. Um, my friend uh, John from uh, Bama Pickin, he, or he originally did my second logo. And so I reached out to him, I, him and I were chatting and I said, well, what can you do for a new logo for me? Because he did all my logos. And I, I said, I don't want nothing with gators. I said, I don't want anything with, with uh, uh, gumbo pots and stuff like that. I said, I want something totally off the, off the wall. And he came back the same day with that logo. We had a little tweaking going on. And other than that, that was the end of it. And so uh, my channel got taken away on um, March the 13th. That next Monday, I came back with everything and lined up. And new logo, new name, new everything. I also resell on eBay, Macari, Etsy, Posh. And I also do Posh Lives. And I do Whatnot Lives. I also have two antique boots where I basically go shopping and find things at the cheapest price I can get and get the most profit that I can get out of an item. Usually I tend to go to a uh, vintage or antique or things that are unusual. Uh, I try to lo locate things like right now today, I've been going through uh, 15 pounds of jewelry here to my, my, my right. And I just processed seven and a half pounds of jewelry right before the show today. So I'm always processing jewelry. I love looking at different types of jewelry. Um, but the thing with the channel, going back to that, uh, I'm, I'm sticking to my roots. Nobody can take that away from me, no matter where I live. Um, and that's why I chose that name. All right. Um, let me give a shout out to the chat, and then we're going to get into it. Um, let's see what we got here. Shout out to New England Betty Boot for being the first in the chat. Thank you for all your support. Yeah, she beat me today. LKL Keith, thank you for coming out. Support the channel. Um, right here at the Moon Valley Craft, thank you for coming out. Thank you for your constant support as well. Uh, Kenya Collier, thank you for coming out. And for uh, just for a special announcement, uh, Tanya is the uh, middleman uh, wife, uh, and she just got approved to sell on whatnot. So if you're not following her, check her out on Instagram and uh, catch up with her whatnot shows. Um it's Florida Girl Picker. Florida Girl Picker on uh, Instagram. Yeah, on, okay. on whatnot too. Okay, on whatnot. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, shout out to Jennifer Hayes. Uh, appreciate everything you do for the channel, Jennifer. Um, who we got here? Cheryl, thank you for coming out. Cheryl, I still haven't shipped your item out. That is well. I've been super busy, man. I'll get that stuff out tomorrow. Uh, also, if uh, uh, Greg is in here. Uh, the same for you, Greg. I got I got a big box I'm sending your way. Uh, let's see, let's see what's in here. Uh, Glam, what's going on? Glamorous Closet. Y'all need to check her out as well on her YouTube channel. Um, I think that's about it for now. So, so Johnny, um, I want to hear a little bit about your logo. So I know you, you kind of briefly mentioned that. Uh, you wanted to do something uh, that represent that you are in uh, New England, also that you, uh, you know, Cajun. Uh, and I probably missed that little bit that you was talking. I know you said you didn't want any gators. So how you came up with the uh, what you call Mardi Gras mask? Yeah, yeah. Because in, in Louisiana, we're known for Mardi Gras parades, okay. and I was in a Mardi Gras carnival group that we rode on the la the. A Sunday before Mardi Gras, which was called right. Family Gras. Right. And I rode in there every year for many years uh, in that carnival club. Oh, okay. So that purple color. That is, I love pur purple. is my favorite color. <laughs> yeah, same here, man. The yep. royalty. Yep. <laughs> That's God's color. <laughs> <laughs> I remember um, years ago when the movie Purple Rain came out, man, and I was just you know, I just kind of fell in love with the Alvin cover and the purple. And yeah. I was like, okay, yeah, that's that's a nice color. Yep. But, okay, so uh Pamela, you all got any questions for Johnny? Yeah, Johnny, man, you know, Jennifer uh, did drop my uh I don't know if y'all know, but I'm not my when I get my if I get monetized on the channel, I'm not monetizing it for membership. I have a, a, a place that I use called Kofi, K-O-F-I. Yeah, that's how I'm doing all my memberships now. K-O-F-I. Yep. It's in my it's in my descriptions and my links and my, my videos. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, and I just decided to do that because uh, 
after everything happened and I was at the all the, the hard work I put into that channel and it's all gone in one day like that. Right. I just decided to do something different. Hey John, that's back. what I want to that's what I wanted to ask. How did that happen? Did well, something first did of you all, did some huh? I'm still trying to figure it out. I already appealed, appealed it twice. Um the day after on the March 13th, uh after my morning show. I'm over here rearranging. I'm doing like Tetris in my office. I'm rearranging my office. I took all my sewing stuff out of the, the basement from the reselling company down in the basement. And I went upstairs in a whole room by itself. I get a phone call. Oh, what happened to your channel? I said, what you mean? He said, my membership has been on pause for now, temporary, uh, temporary suspended or on hold. So I said, oh, no, let me stop what I'm doing. Let me move some furniture. So I can get back to my desk. And I got to my desk. And sure enough, it was gone. They said that I did um, promote it, uh, terminate it, create it. Or content creator, and that I was spamming my own community tab. Hmm. And I never got a strike, and I never got a warning on anything having to do with the community guidelines. And that's where I got hit at. So, isn't this the second time that didn't happen to you? Yeah, the first time I was at almost 3,000 subscribers, and this time I was at almost 35,000 subscribers. Damn. All that watch time and everything just going down the drain. And they telling right. you they telling you they don't know what happened to it. No, they they know they're just not telling me or not uh, 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 giving my appeal uh, an approval. Oh, okay, got you. I'm so if you appealing it tomorrow for the third time. So if you with the approval you put in, will uh, what that mean? You you'll be able to get your channel back or if they approve it, you won't. I won't get no notification. If they give it back to me, it just automatically comes back. That go with the subs and everything else too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got you. Memberships, subscribers, all of that. Gotcha. I don't lose none of the hours or anything. And when that if and when that happens, no, yeah, that's some, don't they that's tell some you for. Uh, what you have to submit to uh, to to put in an appeal? Nope. No, no. Nope. Uh, I guess and that's another thing about that. They'll give you an email, which I did post on. If y'all want to follow it, exactly what I got, I did post it on my Facebook group. I have a Facebook group. Right. That is also Cajun Roots Reseller LLC. I do everything Cajun Roots. That is my business name. That is my license name, everything for the business. So if you go to Facebook group, you will see that I actually posted the email I got of why I was terminated. Right. Then I went to Team YouTube, which that's another thing, on uh, Team YouTube on uh, uh, Instagram or Twitter. You go over there and you talk to somebody and they'll finally answer you. And then they told me that I need to go back and appeal the first channel. Well, I'm not trying to appeal the first channel. I'm trying to build this one because they said that now I have two channels tied to the same channel, which is interesting because when I got my second channel pulled, which was Cajun Roots Resell LLC, another channel pops up with my name. I don't even use that channel. And Jennifer brought it to my attention. She says, Johnny, well, you know you got this channel that has 300 and some subscribers. Well, I don't know where that came from, but it's not mine. I didn't use it. I never did use it. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, it was crazy. It's a bit different um, than uh, copy strike because uh, yeah. I don't ever feel copy strike. I never had my channel taken away, uh, but that's crazy, man. Back well, back. two years, three years ago, they brought in this new thing where if you get a warning, you get a warning, it stays on your, your YouTube channel for 90 days. Right. You can appeal it, and then or you can take a class, a teaching class. If you take the teaching class, the 90 days will be taken away. After 90 days, you won't get no markings on your account. As long as you don't do the same thing within the same 90 days. Well, if I got a strike or a warning, I can understand. I can fix the problem if you tell me what it is. Right. I can delete yeah. a, a video if it was a, my first video that I put out. If it's me report a con, every week I was doing a feature channel of the week. If that would have been the case, I would have taken that down. I would have deleted it. If it's me repeating it every every month, the new uh, calendar, updated calendar for the community, I would have deleted it. But how would I know who, whose channels were terminated if I don't know? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, it's, that's it's, crazy right there. And then, like, every day I'll make sure, checking the chat, making sure there's nobody that I, I, I don't make a mistake with or making sure I didn't have a copyright strike or a warning on, on my YouTube channel on every video I do. And to this day, I still do it. But why? I don't know. But that's my group that Jennifer just dropped in the chat. If you uh, sign up for it, it's free. 
Uh, and it is a Facebook group that you can also post your videos, your lives on that with no uh, questions asked, unless it's something that I get a warning saying there's something misbehaving or in negatives or uh, ne uh, being negative about something, I'll pull it. Right. Have you looked right. into um, some of these uh, associations out here that will appeal your, your channel for you? I wish. I don't know. Yeah, there's a couple of them out there, a couple of lawyers. I don't know how much they charge, but they will appeal for you on your behalf. I mean, if that's, a, you know, if it's that important. For well, you. for me, I have all those how-to videos. I had um, lots and lots of videos. <laughs> um, I, and again, thirty almost 35,000 subscribers. I, I was always within the, the, the 90 days. Uh, within 4,000 watch hours. I mean, I was constantly doing something, promoting somebody, you know, bringing somebody on and, and, and helping somebody, you know. I'm the type of person, I'd rather help them than hurt them, so I'll help them in any way I can. And that's what I even put in my appeal. How can I be the one to be taking down what I'm trying to teach people what not to do? And y'all don't yeah. give me a walking or a strike. <laughs> I don't right. understand that. It's like my hands are tied. Then I go, well, you have to watch a video to see how to appeal it. You know, they want you to do, do your own research and find out why did you why do you think you got terminated? Then you got to put that in your appeal and apologize to something you may not even know what it really. Why that's, that's, that's what I just about to say. What you apologizing for? You yeah. did. It don't don't make no sense. Ella, Ella, Ella. Like you meant to. Yeah, you know, it's like come on, give me some kind of clue. Right. But yeah, it's just a generic. Spamming my community, uh, 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 violating the community guidelines. Where's my warnings and my strikes? That's Thank crazy. You. Never oh, yeah. um, shout out to uh, all in one package, Miss Buffalo, and uh, say here first, Ella. Thank you all for all the support you give to the channel. Um, yeah, man, that don't make that don't pass the common sense test. Uh, but I do know, um, you know, there's companies out there that will fight that on your behalf. Uh, I don't know what the fees that are associated with it, but it may be something worth looking into. You probably can get two for one. You probably can get them to pull both of your channels back, you know, because both channels will monetize, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you just get them back, man. Then. And then they were saying that I had the same email, but what was interesting is my first channel was on the Cajun Roots reseller at gmail.com. Right. Then when I rebranded and did the LLC, I did Cajun Roots Resell LLC at gmail.com. So it was not the same emails. But what I did was when I branded it, I went with my, my bingo channel because I was doing bingo. Right. So that's what my main channel was assigned to. But I had reassigned it as a secondary account as a Cajun Roots Resell LLC. That, that, that could be the problem, too, man. I got a couple ghost channels out there. And they made me purposely made me put those channels under my main channel. So that could be the issue as well, that they want your channel to remain under that main email. You know, you know what I mean? But once you lose your channel, you cannot even have a YouTube channel for that email. Oh, yeah. So I yeah, like so, that, man, so you think you think they said you 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 think they're saying the band um YouTuber is your your old channel? You think that could be it? You yeah, if you look up Cajun Roots Reseller, you you'll see one that says Cajun Roots Reseller Two as the handle. Yeah, you can look it up. It's like three hundred some subscribers. That was my very first channel before I went live, but I forgot all about that channel. I never used it. There was no videos there. Shout out to Marie. Thank you for coming out. Hey Marie. Yeah, that's hey, that's. I don't know. I mean, you know, that is foreign to me, man. I never had a channel uh, that they canceled out. But I do know that through my time of going through YouTube and just looking at different videos, that there are services out there of real lawyers that will fight on your behalf to get your channel back. Um, but like I said, I don't know the fees. And based off of what you had going on, it may be worth uh, looking into. Well, like uh, my first channel, I already knew when the what happened on my first channel. I did a video the very first time I uh, did my new channel, the second channel. I did go back and put the "Don't let this happen to you," because you see, like right now, you're highlighting a comment. 
Well, that's what I was doing in my first channel. I was highlighting comments. Right. Well, then somebody like you see Jennifer's avatar right there. Right. Of two two of the two people of the same sex picture. Oh. But I was using the larger layout, and it was obvious. But the, what I did was, I immediately went in and put my video on private, and ended the show, and put it on private. Well, that was okay. The second time someone did that, but they came on the screen as they were talking about reselling. And then he did his avatar that way. And I immediately stopped it and I did the same thing. And I did the private. I ended the show private. But the minute that one happened, somebody reported me. And the next thing you know, my whole channel was taken out for that reason. Yeah. But never once that I promoted, never once that I talk about it. I just immediately ended the show and put it into private. And the first one, I even went out and clipped it out where the, 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 the comments were hit, uh, highlighted like this. I clipped it out and left, let it out, you know, but still. A shout out to Jeff. Thank you for coming out, Jeff. Bill Bixby is in the house. Appreciate you coming out, Bill. Um, let me go ahead and do my first giveaway. I try to do a giveaway for the people that come early. And uh, I got two items that I'm going to give away tonight. One is uh, Halo. And the other is uh, DC Comics. Uh, so let me just bring the wheel up and we're going to spin it. And uh, once again, if you haven't received your items, which I think is three people, uh, I will get that stuff out tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, John had won the other week. Yeah. yeah I, <laughs> Did you yeah, tell John he had won the other week? <laughs> no, he, no Johnny, got, Johnny got an uh, item. It's, a, it's sitting over at the warehouse with his oh, name. Yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah, he said he was going to mail it out. He said at the oh. beginning of the show he's going to mail it out. i try to do it tomorrow. Uh, oh. Love you, Glams. Back, back at you. And I want to do a giveaway, too, for the early birds. Right. When All you're right. done. Oh, the names you have on that chat on that screen. Where are you getting those names? I want to tell you that from last time you did it. You still got people on the chat from some somewhere else. Say again now. You got Cajun Roots Picker, Philly Flipper, Chris Nutter. They're not even in the chat. Yeah. No, no, no. So basically, what I do so I don't have to keep taking away ad is if you come to the show. I automatically put you on the wheel. So if you don't come to follow oh. me, that's fine, but you'll still be on the wheel. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. So I don't have okay. to keep doing it every week. So Oh, okay. Yeah. Um I got so it now. if you get a chance, just look at the wheel, make sure you see your name on it. If not, I'll add it right quick for a spin. You have to I'll change the mind. Just a little bit. I like that, but that's not me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, we, we know it's you, Johnny. We'll switch it up, though. <laughs> we'll give you a new name. I ain't changed the name too much, man. Um, yeah, so if you don't see your name on the wheel, let me know. Is Jeff on there? eBay? I don't think I Jeff don't. Jeff. Jeff Doris. I don't see his name on there. You got two spots with your logo, I guess. But I don't see Jeff. I see Jeff Crumpler. Okay. Yeah, he Jeff come Crumpler come in sometime. Bring it up a little bit. All right. Let me get rid of this advertisement. Yeah, I don't you see Randy. On you put Randy on there. Randy is not on there. Yeah, Randy Moon. Randy at the moon. Randy at Moon Valley Crafts. So it's on there, ain't it? No, that's Hollywood. My eyes ain't good, but let me get my glass. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Randy Moon. What is it? Random Moon? Oh, Jeff says he's on there as eBay Addict. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool. 
All right, there we go. Randy, Randy at, at Moon Valley Crown. Okay. Jeff Randy is fine. Jeff Randy is fine. All right, cool. <laughs> Randy, don't come in here try to tell him how to run my show. All right, so um, picking in the hood. Picking in the hood on there? Right? He's saying he ain't on there. But, you know, he got bad eyes, so, you know, tell yeah, him. Yeah, I thought, I, come on now. <laughs> Y'all don't see picking in the hood? I'm looking. Ooh. I left him off. Y'all don't see him. Well, I don't see him in there. All right. <clears throat> All right, that's that was a little jokey joke, uh, Randy at Moon. I don't know you, but uh, hopefully you ain't you know that type of person to get upset. But, uh, she said I was born in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so let's go ahead. Uh, this is the item that I'm going to give away. The first item is a Halo, um, mongoose. Can y'all see that one? Yep. Oh, all right. I'm yeah. doing great, Jeff. Thank you, you for asking. How you doing? All right. So that's the first item I'm going to give away. Let's spin it. Hey, come on, bro. <laughs> I should have did a fresh spin first. Yeah. All right. All right, Big Cam. I got that uh, <laughs> uh Ryan and Piper WWE coming your way as well. I got you, I got your information. All right. So I'm gonna continue to share my screen. I got one item we're gonna talk about. We're gonna get into this and then we'll get back into uh some some talking about the situation with uh YouTube. So you're gonna jump right into the uh reseller 411. Reseller 411, the unfiltered truth, telling it like it is. It is what it is, it ain't what it ain't. <laughs> I love that. All right, so um Tonight's story is going to be about the gift card fraud. And uh, if you're not aware of this and, and what's going on, I'm going to share my screen. So I wasn't able to uh, get back in time enough to save it and add it into the uh, setting. So I'm just going to uh, show you all right quick. Let me see here. Genomics got triple action today. It's guaranteed. Feed it all. Feed it. Our root tip regular is the hair loss brand that's here to change the way you care for your hair. All right, can y'all turn that down, man? Somebody? Can't face the grease. Not me. You all live, y'all. For thicker, hollow hair. Who's got the TV running? For better hair days ahead. It ain't me. I was muted. Yeah, it's not me. Come on, y'all. <laughs> Got to do better now. Uh, let's see. All right, let's get into the story. Call this an undercover look at capturing a modern day Grinch. Nope. Body cameras rolling. Detectives in Sacramento tackle a suspected shoplifter. Nope. Later, allegedly finding this jaw-dropping loot. 5,000 stolen Apple and Target gift cards. Part of an ongoing scam, they say, to tamper with retail gift cards and steal your money. A scam so pervasive, it's got authorities coast to coast sounding alarms. We want to give you guys the info so you don't fall victim to the scam as well. And across the country, victims learning their gifts are worthless. My gift card was wiped out of funds and it was declined. 
both of our $200 gift cards were just completely, completely drained. The scam is complicated. Thieves not only have to steal the gift cards out of the store, they then have to sneak them back in, all the while zeroing in on these numbers and barcodes that tie the cards to your money. A perfect example in Pennsylvania, where police say surveillance cameras caught two men entering a supermarket. That's one of them in the green hat. Then, there in the top right, you can see them allegedly putting 75 gift cards back on store shelves. Detectives say the men now facing felony charges stole the gift cards, removed them from their packaging, copied that key info, then repackaged and restocked them. The goal for unsuspecting customers to put money on the cards that the thieves could spend. You'll never know grabbing that gift card off of the rack and then purchasing it that has been tampered with unless you inspect it and take a second look at it. Or try to use it, sadly. Or try to use it, it's correct. Tips to avoid falling victim, examine gift cards before buying. If it looks tampered with, don't buy it. Buy cards kept behind the counter or even better, online. And finally, save your receipt so if the card is drained, you can make a case for getting your money back. A lot of folks in our nation are having a tough time putting food on the table and paying their bills. These people spoil Christmas and ruin it for everybody else. Maggie Vespa, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media. All right. So that was the uh, gift card uh, scam. And uh, what we try to do with this uh, particular segment is try to find something that relates to reselling. And I know that during Christmas time, especially for resellers, uh, I know some resellers, not all, go into different stores and buy these uh, discounted down gift cards and, uh, you know, get re-gift them or, you know, just get the uh, percentages that they make off the card and, and get, cash them out. Um so have you all ran into any of this or know anybody that has been scammed like this? I've only heard about it on the news. Oh, yeah, that's all. The only time I heard about it was uh, one time that uh, at a gas station, they had the um, the get the card the, the uh, thing, the card reader. Right. They had a fake they had a fake um, thing on it. And when person went to, right before us went to put their card in, the whole thing came off. And they had the um, the fake thing, the fake one fell off, and the regular one was right there. So whoever people that came before us, that was you, they had used that my, that thing, scan. So we got the people over there. The lady that before us got the people over there at Walmart. They had, and it was about four other uh, self checkouts had that same keypad thing. You can just snatch off of the regular one. And, right. people, and they, and they was it was right here in our city where uh, Muggs was doing this at a Walmart, and uh, they caught they caught they caught him. You know what I mean? And we was just about to use one of those things ourselves, and it and it came off, and, and while we was in line, and that's how we found out. And then it was on the news like three days later at different Walmarts that these guys was going putting fake. Um, things on the uh the card readers over the original one right yes. and it was taken and then and it was crazy it was like dag how I, that was real close to you That's know been really big here up in ball in massachusetts where um what i do is they were even saying you know how credit cards now have the touchless yeah i use the touchless mm -hmm. because they said it's less a chance for them to get your information from that because it's a bigger security code instead of you putting your card in or sliding yeah. it yeah. Is where to get your information from that additional piece they put on top of the machine. It right, makes right. it look real, but the only the only thing they keep saying is gently tug at it and see if it moves. And that's what the, yeah, I know in my that's... area they have these red tapes mm -hmm. over with a, a number on it, like a security tape. And if it's tampered with, they'll know. Well, but that's if you don't like see the gas around, station. that means it's been attached on. So be that's careful. just like at the gas stations. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Uh, but. Um, yeah, that piece, like you said, when it was just crazy, we just sitting there ready to do our thing. And she's like, the whole thing fell off. Like, what the hell? And then when she got the people over there and the other side, like it was four, you know, they got four, you know, it was on a different side. All four of them 
when when they tugged at him, everybody started messing with him, and they tugged and they came off, man. All four, yeah, man. They even doing them in grocery stores too. That's crazy, man. Yeah. But you know, it's right now. It's that sign of the times where you know technology is very threatened. You know, with the AI jumping off and everything else. You know, so it's really it's so easy for for everybody to get took up top right now. So you got to do everything you can to be careful. Yeah. I mean, everything. Well, grandma is saying you got to. She hears that you give cash. No, you can go get, get a gift card online or send one e electronically uh, through email. You can do that. Yeah, yeah. When I used to I buy mean, gift cards be, uh, online because um, you know, you get, you get a discount and purchase um merchandise with it. You know, that's the only time I I used them was buying them online. Yeah, you uh, you got to understand, man. With technology, everything that they create for good, somebody's gonna figure out a way to use it for evil. So uh, yeah. that's just the nature of the beast. I mean, everybody um, don't want to work. You know, you got people out here that they they are they rather spend eight hours trying to figure out how to take what you got than to spend that eight hours on the job so they can get their own. Well, yeah, it's, grandma, e it's easier. Know, it's easier to do it that way, though, T. You know what I'm saying? I hear you, Grandma. It's easier. It's way like easier. Kid. It's easier to take you up top than to go get that job that worked for it. You feel me? So yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's all. I guess it's all depends. You know, of uh, your mindset. I mean, yeah. I, I don't want to take uh, from people. I want to go get my own. Yeah. And I don't want. I want to sleep good at night. I don't want to be you worried be about doing that. right you know, law enforcement knocking my door down because I did something out here. Uh, I couldn't sleep. You know, so um, I mean, I guess it's just you know the way you 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 were raised. What what I say, each is on man. You know yep. what I mean. Yep. Each is on. I don't judge nobody. But there's too many places they can get a job. But that's too listen, easy. Listen, bro, don't nobody, like he said, don't nobody want to work for it no more. They want it like this. Everything is so quick. Everything is easy access, you know? When you look at these, look at the phone, you got your phone, you can get anywhere in this world on your phone. You ain't got to go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So everything is so easy access. It's just sad, you know, that no matter what you do to try to protect yourself, you, you're still vulnerable, you know? Yep. So- well, I would say nowadays it's more easy to be an entrepreneur than back when we was growing up. No, because they got no. so much more. They got so much more opportunity when it comes to like everything's in the touch of, and in the palm of their right, hand. Right, we had to right. go yeah, it's, it's, we had to and, get and it, it's, it's more it's information. information. Right. Yeah, but we we had to actually go to the library or go somewhere to uh, get information, or somebody had to teach us. They could do it online. They could just sit here in front of the computer and learn anything they need to know right here. Yep. Uh, you know what I mean? Yep. We, we didn't yep. have the opportunity growing up. That's why I no, say when you say it like that, yeah, that, yeah, definitely, because everything is right there. Like I said, on your phone, you can you can go all around the world right on your phone. <laughs> you don't have to do nothing. Everything is at a touch, man. You know, like at growing up, you know, as a as a young boy, you know, your friends talking about, hey man, you you gotta watch TV so you can see the Hey man, you know now, man, it's scary to be truthful. It really is. It's scary to be truthful, but like I said, it's the sign of the times, the day of age, the day of the age right now. So we gotta yeah, live I'm in. Up. I've always had two jobs, and I've always kept busy. Hey man, you're better than a lot of them, man. So congratulations. You yeah, feel me? You're better than a lot of them. Keep busy. Yeah, man. I've seen uh, where the police was trying to create a steam. Because they got hit as well, they bought like eight hundred dollars worth of gift cards for the uh, department, and they figured out that uh, once they called the number in on those cards to activate them, all the money left the card. So uh, right now they got a, a investigation going on. I think with Visa to yeah. figure out is it an inside job? You know, first you know first thing police think when something happened like that. That it got to be an inside job, so they are investigating it uh, to try to figure out a way to uh, keep this type of stuff from happening. Because I know yeah. just watching this video, I have went into several uh, big box stores. Fig I'm, I'm looking for a certain price card, say a hundred bucks, and I just pull it. I don't inspect it or nothing. I just pull it, take it to the yeah. cashier. 
they ring it up and I'm out the door. Uh, but watching yeah. this video is is making me more conscious now to to uh, make a conscious effort on when I do go in there. I'm not going to stop buying the cards because I've never been popped, you know. But I know now when I go purchase the card, I'm going to inspect that card before I leave the store with it. You know where you know where a lot of times we get our cards like at Costco's and Sam's, you know, because they have the um, especially around the holiday time they have very um, uh, I guess deals on, you know, certain amount, you spend a certain amount of money, you get so much, you know, good, like 50 to $60. If you spend 200 and something, you know, cards like that. Yeah. So, you know, now that you, like you said, you see these, you know, you see this type of stuff. Now you got to be cautious because of this reason, this reason only, you know what I mean? You spending your hard earned money on this stuff and then you get, you give it to the people. They think they get, they, you know, they go to go spend their money. They can't spend nothing. There ain't nothing there. You know what I mean? That's kind of that's kind of messed up. You know, now you got to go and re-gift or redo it again. You know what I'm saying? So you just spent double the money. Feel me? Now you might not get this money back. So you just got to be careful when you go out there and be, you know, doing your due diligence. You know, you got to really do your you thing. Got, you got people with scanners also that uh, try to read your credit cards. Got to yeah. be aware of that. You know what I mean? You also got to... Uh, you know, like like my wife does, and, and she's trying to get me to do it more. Is lock your cards before you go out, because um, yeah, they actually scanning your cards through your your pocket. Well, they got a wallet you know? for that. They got a wallet. Yeah, they got, they yeah. Got I got a wallet. One right here. Let me see. Yeah, when you, yeah. you got one? Yeah, I have mm -hmm. one. Right I got here. I got one of those. Yep, yep. There it is. They got they got I the wallet. Too. Like in my wallet, yep. in my thing, my wallet, I got. They got the little thing where um, it protect your cards. You know what right. I'm saying? And uh, I was telling my, I was telling my better half. I said, you might want to get that for your her stuff. You know, because she got a little a wallet about that long with number of credit cards. You know what I'm saying? And I'll be telling her, I was like, hey, you got to be careful. They ain't gotta have your credit card to be able to scan it. Now they got to do it just yeah, bump, that, up and, that little piece you know, there will uh, that little chip. So yeah. Yeah, they, they can bump into you, and if you ain't got that protection, they can get everything in your wallet. Everything, you know, if it's digital, right? Um, right. So you be walking in the store, and somebody bump into you. Most of the time, they say be very apologetic. You move on, right? Not knowing right. that they just took everything in your wallet that's digital. They just took yeah. all your information and everything, brother. Yeah. So just be careful out there as resellers. I know we go to a lot of thrift stores and discount stores and big box stores but just be careful of uh of your uh belongings man because they ain't got to go in your pocket no more and if you if you do got cash use cash you know what i mean ain't nothing wrong with still using that cash i, I use cash for a lot of things you know I, I i just do you know um i really i sometimes i know that uh, you know carrying a lot of cash is not always good but i use, I use cash <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i mean you know you got to do what you got to do um oh uh, yeah, yeah. 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 About they talk about that as well uh not on this video but on another video they mentioned this as well marie because uh when the news company got involved uh the company uh walmart was saying it's not their responsibility to reimburse the customer and then once the news people got involved, all of a sudden they changed their story and they told the customer that they will, will re reimburse them for that. Yeah. And my thing is, if you know for a fact you got scamming going on with these cards, because everybody gets scammed the same way. As soon as they call that number to activate the card, the money is gone. No. So if I go and buy a product from your business and something happened before I can even use the goods, I should get reimbursed from you. You know, if it's no track, no, it's not showing any uh, traffic that I went out and made purchases with that card, you should be reimbursing me my money when you know this scam is going on. And like they were saying in this other video, all the department stores know this scam happens. That's why some stores are getting away from the actual cash card. It's just doing the cards where you can uh, buy food at you know, 
different places, but they're not having like the Visa and MasterCard away from that. Not to cut you it's off, the system. But not to cut you off, T. They they are even that they if they are they are still in the SNAP benefits too. You feel me saying they still in food stamp benefits and everything now. So it's just not, yes, it's just not. That's what I was telling you when you sent that to me and we was conversating about it. That's what I, was, I forgot to tell you. They are they, they still in the SNAP benefits too. You feel me? So is they, they just was sad that just on the news to tell the people with SNAP benefits to be careful when they in these stores and everything the same way because they doing the same thing to them with right. the SNAP benefits. You know I can, what I mean? I, yeah, I, I, can, I can understand that. Yeah. So you just got to be, you just, like I said, you just got to be careful. You know, it's just no way else around it. You know, when you get to the machines, you know, like he said, like Johnny said, tug on them, see if they loose and, you know, been tampered with before you put your card in. I know you'd be ready to get up out those stores, but I'd rather get up out that store with my merchandise, with my money and everything intact. Then, you know, <laughs> you think you didn't pay for everything and <laughs> all you got took. Well, even you before I moved here to Massachusetts, that was a bigger problem in New Orleans. But what they were doing was any place you would go to, they would have a security code tape over the actual reader going over it. And they would have their sticker on it saying that they verified it with their initial on it. So if you knew those were tampered with or busted, you or something was looking different, then you know not to use that machine. Right. You report right. it. Right. Gift cards, can't be, gift that cards can't be buffed with credit cards. Yeah, that's that's all over the place. You can't buy uh, a gift card with a credit card. You either got to have a debit card or cash. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's see, uh, is anybody in chat have any question for our guest Johnny tonight? I know most of the people that are here go to his show as well. Uh, but I got, I got a question for question, you. Uh, go ahead, man. I got a question for you, Johnny. You know, I know you say you like to help people and everything. What give you the drive and give you the motivation to want to keep on every day to get on live and try to help and show people how to do this and um, stuff? What give you that motivation and that drive? It's when I see new people in the chat and they say that word yet. I haven't thought about doing it yet or haven't made a video yet. I, If anyone knows me, they know that they can ask any questions in the morning shows, Monday through Friday at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's all about question and answers. Um, and, and it could be about anything. If I don't know it, you better guarantee that you will see me the next day by me researching what it is that if I need to know what it is. If I'm not sure, I'm going to research it. And then I'm going to bring it on to as a topic the next day. So for me helping somebody, if I can help one person a day, I feel like I've done my goal for the day. I, I feel like I did something good for that day. Got you. Got you. What gave what got what what got you into reselling and everything? If everybody, I know people in the chat know you, but what really got you into putting your hand down in this hustle right here? What made Hello, you say? Robert. What made well, you say first, this is gonna be my hustle? I'm gonna do. What well, made you let me let me start by five years ago. It'll be five years this June, June 24th. We actually signed the house on this one. Uh, nine months prior to that, we were in a new home in New Orleans. And I had a quilting company. I had a cleaning company. Uh, I was constantly being busy. So when I, we, my husband decided they were going to close the business down in New Orleans. So one, he either could go find another job or move to where they were, they were needing him, which was here in Massachusetts. So my first question was, what the world I'm going to do? Gotcha. I've been cleaning houses for years. I've been quilting for years. What am I going to do up there? I don't know. I'm not going to know anybody. So he started having me. Hello, Cha-Ching King. How are you doing, Scott? He started having me watching YouTube channels. It's like, Johnny, you always say you can sell ice to an Eskimo. Why can't you do this? So I started watching while he was going to work. And the next thing you know, I'm watching more people and more people. And it's like, oh, I know I can do this. So when I was having to pack the house after nine months of being in that house to move here, Everything I packed had a had a, a, a black mark on it, basement, because we already knew we bought the house, basement, eBay room. Everything that I did not touch that was still new, I that's how I started my business. I had everything when I purchased the house, it was marked for eBay basement room. Because I already knew this is where I was going to be. And so I had so much inventory that that's what I started with. 
And that's what got me, not what got me hooked. Right. Making that first sale, getting those listings, getting more sales. Right. Listen to what other people are selling, trying to find out the right things. On my phone, I have a little notepad. Every time I'd watch a channel, they call that the bolo, which at the time I didn't know what that was. Right. I'd make a note and keep an eye on like certain name brands or coffee mugs or ties, uh, any category. I had it all in different categories on my phone. So when I was outsourcing, I could just look at my phone and say, I remember that name. Let me see if it's on my list. Let me comp it and see what it's selling for. And so for me, that's how I got started in getting really into it. Right. Then I started going into estate sales. Then I started going into more auctions. Next thing you know, I'm hooked to all the way because then I started going, doing online auctions. My first one, I sold an that I paid five dollars for it, and so it up for 125 dollars on on YouTube auction. Damn. Two people wanted it; they were buying it, and I sold it. So right. that's what got me hooked. Okay, okay, good information, brother. Yep, just that one little thing that gets you going. Hey, it's all it's all, it's all it takes, man. You that's know, it? it's all it takes. You know, that's um, right. When you're a hustler, you you can hustle like he said. You can sell ice to the Eskimo. Like I tell a person, I can take your drawers off and sell them back to you. You did talk you out your drawers and sell them back hey, to hey, you. Hey, hey, man, chill out. It's, it's uh, just that easy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, just a little bodo for everybody in chat. Uh, if you're trying to get on, get some toys, or just build up your inventory, uh, Walmart right now is having crazy clearance sales. So, if you thought they was having a clearance. Uh, sale two weeks ago. Go in Walmart tomorrow and walk the, the aisles. Everything is not in the clearance section. It's in the nope. aisles as well. And they are marking prices down to move that stuff. So if you just want to, you know, get a few toys and stack them up for Christmas, uh, this would be the perfect time to do it. Some items in there that I saw that sell regularly for $39 and it's right, marked right at nine to seven bucks. So uh, go check them out. You know, try to you know swoop you up some deals. Hey, John. And when you're what, what those, makes, always remember the biggest tip I want to give about that. When the new people that are doing this, do not look at what's what's listed. I mean, you do want to look at it and see how many are listed, but you want to look at those comp codes because everywhere I go, people are showing this printout of oh, this is what it's selling for on eBay. When I go to look it up, no, that's what they listed. That's what they're asking for it. Right. That's not what it's sold for. You can ask whatever you want for anything. So what's your question? <laughs> oh, what made you uh, uh, do auction? What what was the uh, how how, what, how do you come up with doing auctions every day and bingo? OK, auctions I don't do every day, but next week I'll be on oh. three different shows. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, when I'm buying stuff, for example, this is a prime example. This is seven pounds, eight pounds of jewelry that I bought from somebody that I'm going through. This was from somebody who was doing an online auction. And I knew that they lived not that far from me. So we made a connection and I bought a lot of their jewelry, which was gold and silver uh, for a good digit price. And that was one of the items that I bought that I sold from $5 to 125 from that same lot because I had it separate. But yeah, um, that's how I actually got started um, because I was I have a lot of inventory and most of my inventory is jewelry. Granted, I have hard goods. I have uh, vintage, antique, stuff like that. But jewelry is what got me hooked. Now, what got me into bingo? When I first started, it was five, four years ago, I started bingo. It was over four years, actually. Uh, I started bingo with uh, uh, Victoria and Larry, L.L. Stash. Victoria was doing it with Jenny, Jenny, Jenny before that. But Jenny had to get, get out because of her back and, and medical reasons. So I, myself, and Larry became a co-host with the bingo with Victoria. And then Victoria stepped back, Larry stepped back, and then I wound up with the whole show, which I didn't mind. Then I just started doing it every week. We used to do it on a Tuesday, but now I do it every Monday at 4.30. Because now I have a set form. It's in the description bar. Everybody's numbers are there. You get three months of that same number. You can only change it every three months. And it works yeah. out fine. Then I have a co-host, which is Mark. And I love it. It's something, to me, Mondays is the best way to do a bingo because you already dealt with the, the hardest day of the of the week. A lot of people don't like it, but we don't talk about reselling. We just get in there and play bingo. 
And that's what we like about it. Man, now, the next I used to go to Bingo with my grandmother. Yep. And I love Bingo. But, yeah, that's just a nice way for us to get together, unwind after a long day of a Monday to start the week. Glamour's does Johnny sell jewelry lots? Yeah, so I sure do. <laughs> hey, so I never uh, attended your bingo. Mm -hmm. Do you have a uh, like a regular crowd, or you have like a constant uh, change of people coming in, mm -hmm. want to just curious about what you're doing? A lot of new people. We have over 468 or 470 people signed up for bingo. Wow! Not everybody plays every week. Right. But again, the majority do come back. We we get over an average of 60 to 70 people every bingo okay. on a consistent. Right. And you run it for how long? An hour. We started for 30, but the first half hour was for everybody coming in, uh, just chit-chatting, get, getting everything ready. Uh, they come in and say the word same, and then we just get started at around 5 o'clock, and then we ended at 6, no matter how many games we do. Yeah, what, what's the prize? It's all kind of stuff. <clears throat> one of the giveaways that I want to do tonight is one of the chances that people can win a box of moon pies that I'm known for. Moon pies. <laughs> <laughs> and this particular flavor only comes out every certain time of the year, and this is Zesty Lemon. Right. Uh, but I do that. I, I supply the moon pies. And then everybody who wants to send any donations in, what they'll do is they'll go into my description. I have a P.O. box. They can ship in uh, prizes that they want to donate, and then their name gets on it uh, in the bag for as a, as a shout out for them donating it. As long as it's under uh, 12 ounces or less, no matter what it is, as long as it's legal, as long as it's respectable, and it's something that everybody would enjoy. Okay. Yeah, and it's anybody who wants to donate. And then if you're in the chat and you don't want that particular item, you can donate it back, and your name gets put on the donation for the next bag. That, that person, whoever gets that bag. <laughs> I want moon pies for come. Yep, and also another thing I do. Every video or live that I do, if you make a comment, it has to be about something that was discussed, talked about, or uh, as a topic in your comments after the video has aired. Like after I, in my lives, if you go in there and you make a comment about something that was discussed during the, sh excuse me, during the show, your name gets put on the uh, wheel. One one uh, comment per video. And right. then I do on the first uh, Monday of each month, I'll do the three different flavors of moon pies that I'd give away. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. I know you gave a shout out already, but I want to give a shout out to uh to Team King and uh Raul. Thank you all for coming in. Um yeah. yeah, I definitely uh now you said the address is on your channel to make the donation. Yeah, in, in my descriptions. Okay. Okay. Is it my PO box? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Um, I would definitely like to do that. Make a donation. Um, because I always hear about it, but I think when you are going, I'm either at work or I just miss it. You know. Yeah, we're 4:30 p.m. Eastern, but that first half hour is just for everybody to come in, say hellos, get your hellos out of the way, and right. chit chat with everybody. Make sure you get your numbers in, and then we get started at five. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then some people will take in uh, because I don't do the, the because of the new channel, I do Kofi. And with Kofi, if anybody donates, they can put in the comment section for uh, to, to go towards shipping for that, that show. And then what I do is my co-host and I, we split the cost of the shipping. But if somebody donates anything that's specifically for the shipping for that show, then I'll take it and sub subtract it from the total. And then we divide that other, the last of it by two. Right. Myself and my <clears throat> Okay, cool. Um, oh, I'm gonna put something out uh, that I hadn't discussed, um, but I just want to put this out so you know I know people gonna come by and watch the video uh, once we finish the live. I know I'm gonna get uh, 300 to over a thousand people that come by and watch the video from any given uh, show. Uh, but I want to put this out uh, so people know. Uh, for one, I don't mind helping people if they're serious about what they're trying to do when it comes to reselling. I don't like my time to be waste. Uh, right. If you come to me sincerely needing help and I give you the help, I'm going to be looking for you to, to show me some results at some point. 
Uh, and I know everybody's time scale is different. You know, some people take baby steps. Some people make long jumps. I understand that. But don't waste my time. Don't hit me up on DMs saying you want this and you want that. And I open up the door and I never hear from you. Or if I do spend time with you and give you information and then you never use it. Uh, I don't like that. I don't. My time is too valuable. Uh, for me to be wasting it. And another thing is, please don't come to me uh, with drama about the resale community. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in nothing negative about the resale community. I have my own issues, and I don't have time to sit down and hear re other resellers talk negative about other resellers. I don't want to hear that kind of stuff. I want to stay away from that type of negativity and I don't know if because of my demeanor is, you know, I present myself as a friendly person, but please remember I am retired military and, you know, I have a tolerance. So, uh, you know, just keep the negativity away from me. I don't want to hear about, uh, and I just use this for example, I don't want to hear about Jennifer. I don't want to hear about uh, New England Betty Boo or Johnny or or. Uh, the middle man. I don't want to hear nothing negative about these people. So keep that stuff away from me. I'm not the person to come talk to about that. And I just want to put that out. And for if the shoe fit where I'm not going to call people name out and you know, put them on the spot because that ain't how I roll. But I'm not that type of person. If we're going to talk about something, let's talk about how we all can grow, you know, how we can advance, you know, how we can come up with something new uh, that will help uh springboard a lot of people in the resale community but don't come to me with negativity i i, I don't have time for that That's and right. i and i just want to put that out there uh so you know like i said the shoe fit wear it but uh that, that's not me well you lose a lot of your life and daylight and time by being negative i i i just stay away from it yeah yeah I'd rather be with somebody who's positive. Exactly. Exactly. Don't have the time for it. So if I was in church, I'd stand, yeah. I'd stand up and say amen. Amen, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh jump into um what we got going on for this weekend as resellers, and then we'll do another giveaway. And if you all in the chat have any questions for our special guest Johnny, he pretty much an open book. Um uh, yep. And if you got a question, just post it. Uh, if you have any questions about Amazon, Walmart, are you interested in becoming a Walmart seller? I, I'm not trying to hold back no secrets. If that's what you want to do, let me know, and I can put you on. Um, so go ahead, middle man. Let us know, and we'll work our way around. Well, this Saturday at 8 o'clock p.m., uh, whatnot, I'm giving a video. I'm doing video games. Three dollars starts on most of them. Um, I've been trying to check them, but you know, I, I'm uh, coming in for work and trying to do, you know, hub, husbandly duties and check the games at the same time. But um, it's it, I have a ton of games. I have a lot of games. I got some over here, and you can see over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, show a couple of your games, man. Show a couple oh, yeah. of your games. All right. All right. Some of the games are, I'm not on my phone, so these are some of the games here. You can see them? You, you selling all of those? They coming up? The, all of those for the sale? I'm trying to, and I got some over here. They got okay. PSPs, Game Boys, um, everything, man. Even even this. Remember these? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, got that. I got that. I got let's that. Let's start bid on that. I got that. I got a couple of oh, them. Um, starting bid on. Or, or something like that, probably about ten dollars. For real? You got that from Alice. Yeah. Yeah. You got that, you got yeah. that from Alice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a good start. Um, 
I don't I don't know where I got those from. But I had yeah. a lot of them. I'm, That's where I got them from. Them now. They had different ones. They had different ones. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. X, Xbox 360, Xbox, and then they had, mm -hmm. I think, another one. I forgot. PlayStation. But yeah. PlayStation. Yeah, I got I got yeah. consoles. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be selling some of the consoles. Like, I, I haven't tested this one yet. Xbox 360s. Well, you're going to have a long day. X. Xboxes. I got about three of these ones. Oh yeah, well, that's the class. It's gonna be. I'm gonna try to do as many as I can. I don't plan on being on. A, I got Wii's that I'm trying to get rid of. I, you know, I this this is a collective of of buying people out. Um, yard sales. Um, I got a guy who's trying to who's trying to we're trying to come up with a deal on another lot of uh, games. Um, so I got to make room. It's got to, I need room. I need room, man. I need it fast. So right. um, when he get back with me, I want to be able to have to have the the uh, room for it and have the um, the money for it. So right. that stuff got to go. <laughs> It's got to go, you know, and I'm trying to get rid of it. I know it's going to be some games. Quite a few of those games over there are way more than $3. You know, it's going to be something that's not because I can't just – I'm just not, you know. I, I might go up to the highest, like, $10, $15 on some games. But a um, majority of those games going to be $3 starts. That's just yeah. what it is. But, but I, gotta, the, um, I have to go in my uh, – uh, not – and uh, send you those names of the people that was buying when I was selling those games. Uh, I got a couple couple guys that spent some lot spent quite a bit of money uh, during my uh, whatnot auction on video games. So I try to get you those names so you can send them a message. Yeah. Did I'm, you see Chaching uh, Cha King's uh, Scott's uh, question? Uh. You highlighted it, but you didn't. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. Uh huh. Have any of you got into the uh, Amazon Influence program? Influencer, no. not me. Mm -mm. No, I know somebody no. that did get into it, uh, Regina Michelle, but no, I'm not. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't even had a chance to look at that stuff, man. I've been, I mean, I'll talk about what I got going on once we get into my turn, but uh, yeah, I, I, I have a uh, short answer. Uh, Chris, no, I'm uh, just listening, listening, listening. I got stuff I'm just trying to list, man. I, I'm not doing nothing spectacular this weekend, uh, but just listing that's what I want to do. You know, I was listing like I was trying to list a tote a day and I just slipped, so I want to get and get me a couple totes in here and just list. You know, that's it, nothing, nothing, no more, nothing less. You know, because I bought some new stuff, I didn't, I didn't bring it in here to show, but. I got just got some new stuff over the week, so right. so just list just listing y'all. That's it. But y'all have a great weekend too, everybody. Shout out to Little Debbie. Thank you for coming out. All right, Johnny. Well, for me, I basically have been listing every day. I've been processing a lot of uh, things that I've gotten through estate sales. So I've been processing all of that. Processed a lot of jewelry today. The biggest thing this weekend is I am working on, I got five totes. And I say five because they're full of quilts that I made. I do quilting. So those, if y'all not familiar with Michael's, the craft store, um, I got approved to be on as the, um, what? No, Michael's is for crafting. Are they so closing? No. You they have buy a shirts and stuff, but no. Can I finish? They have a no, new no, thing no, called no. The, <laughs> okay. on Michaels. Okay, what I'm trying to say is on Michaels, there's a new thing called the marketplace, where if you do crafting things, crocheting, crafting, making jewelry, quilting, there's a marketplace now that you can list that kind of stuff on there, and I got approved. So my goal now is to take those pictures of all those quilts that I have already made. And put them on the marketplace for um Michaels. Okay, and congratulations. Like, example, I make these. These are microwave warmers. These are little paw prints. 
basically you put your bowl in here, you put it in the microwave, you heat your food up, you grab it here so you don't burn your hands. Or later at night, you're having some ice cream, you don't want to freeze your hands, you put your bowl here, you eat your ice cream, and now your hands aren't frozen. This is my small size. I have three orders. One order has eight, four, eight, and another one has three. So I got three orders that I got to make and finish. I already got them cut. I just got to sold. So that's one of my goals this weekend. So like this one, and I always put a different color on the back. If you like to give something to your hairdresser, everything about hairdressers, it's got the aqua color. These are things that I make to order now because I have so many that I sold so many already. This is gardening, got the bright yellow. If you like vegetables, I got vegetables. These are all small bowls, by the way. Then I have one with different colors, different prints. So these are all washable. You can wash them and dry them with no problem in your regular laundry. And uh, they're reversible. So I got small, medium, and large. And I'm getting ready to make the same thing in this same concept, but for your plates. Are you the only one selling those at Michael's? I'm going to be the only one selling them homemade, but I've been selling these on YouTube auctions. Okay. Okay. Uh, actually, if you go to my uh, Macari, Poshmark, or Etsy, you will see at least three of my quilts already on there. Cool. Shout out. I even uh, made a, um, a, a queen. I make up to a king size. My machine, I can do up to a king. I do have multiples already made that I got to put up. But as of right now, I do have three that I made on Etsy. I only make one quilt and never make the same quilt twice. All right. I want to give a shout out to Regina Michelle. Thank you for coming through. Listening and driving. All right. Somebody got uh, a question for Regina. Uh, who? Cha Ching King. Cha Cha King. That's yeah. Scott. Cha Ching, Cha Ching King. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Grandma's asking like, uh, Regina. Um, about she's making on site oh, videos. Man. Oh, about the oh, influence girl. thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you are anyone that does crafting, you can go on to Michael's, create an account. You do have to apply for it, and you do have to be a, a, a person with a, a tax ID because you will get paid through them. They also have where I'm going to be doing classes once I get everything set up. I can even do classes through you, like a, a video on how to do certain things. Mm -hmm. Then you get paid for that if you refer them to go to Michael's and buy the products they need. You also get a percentage of that sales from them as well. Oh, okay. Wow. Are you doing that? Are you doing that? I will be, yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. But also, Jennifer did drop my uh, uh, um, link tree. If you go to my link tree or you go to my YouTube channel, New England Cajun, it is the first little links you get. It says plus 10 or 11 or 12. Right. That's all my main links to all my platforms. I'm very transparent. You can go in and see what I've sold, what I've listed. I list every day. And then I turn around and um, you can also get any of my links, even affiliate links. I have all in my descriptions of my videos, but I also have uh, all the affiliate links as well in my link tree. All right. Yeah, I'm very transparent. I don't, I, I tell you like it is. But anyway, Glamour's uh, a couple of weeks ago, I sent her her order. She ordered some special, she wanted Shamrocks, the Irish. I made hers and sent them out to her. So I've been nonstop busy making these. And I do three sizes, small, medium, and large on the bowls. Glenn said they don't have to pay taxes this year. Get the check back. Girl, we got we're gonna be paying forty five dollars this year. Thank God. <laughs> that's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. Um I so be happy. Me, I, they say we're getting something back out there. Say again now. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, I said I, I'd be happy every time they say we get some. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's good to receive and, and have to pay, you know what I mean? Uh, so uh, for me, I had the uh, just shipped out 22 large boxes to uh, Amazon on yesterday. Uh, hopefully, I can have a video put together in a couple of weeks and push out. Uh, so I did make a a short video for Instagram and uh, TikTok 
to show some of the items that I was prepping for that shipment. Uh, but I also made a video, I think it was yesterday or Wednesday, actually showing the items in the box and then giving a few tips about uh, my mindset and why I, did, why I do uh, the things that I, I do when I'm prepping. Um, so tomorrow I will be listing as well. Definitely going to tune in to uh, Middleman uh, whatnot uh, for support. I don't know if I'm going to buy anything, but uh, definitely will uh, tune in. Um, and that's pretty much, uh, well, I take that back. I will be prepping another shipment because my goal is to uh, get space in the warehouse and I have a lot of goods that I need to push out to the fulfillment center. Uh, so that I can open up space to get new fresh goods. And uh, that's my goal for the next month is to try to push out as many shipments as possible um, and also uh, be in a position, I'm sorry, y'all, be in a position to keep buying. Um, like I said, if you get a chance tomorrow, don't miss out with Walmart. I don't know what your Walmart doing in your local area, but I do know that the Walmarts are marking down uh, items like crazy to move them because they need the space for the spring toys. So, um, you know, check it out. They, if, you, if you're if you a constant buyer at Walmart, you would know that they are actually a month, almost two months behind with the inventory. They have the inventory, but they just don't have the space to put it on the shelf. So that's the move now is to move that old inventory out and they're dropping the prices so that people like us can come by, buy and uh, have that stuff ready for Christmas or, you know, for the fall. Um, so that's pretty much all I have going on for this weekend is just listing and prepping for a new uh, fulfillment uh, shipment. Um, is everybody, anybody else got anything that you want to put out that you forgot to talk about? If you want, I can share my screen real quick. I'm going to show you a crown royal quilt that I made for myself that I never made another one just like it. And it's all made out of crown royal bags. Right, right. Go ahead. Uh, let's see here. All right. You have that on your side. Okay. Hmm. Crown Each one of these are all made with a special bag in the middle. All the different flavors of the Crown Royal, every special event, anything they had special, the Louisiana one, that's uh, uh, maple. Um, Candy apple, there was, um, I can't remember all the different flavors now. But anyway, also in the corners right here, I made a block because I was from LSU, Louisiana. So purple and gold for LSU. But each one of these bags, it's a cut from a, a actual Crown Royal bag. Then, of course, you see the Florida leaves from Louisiana. And then each one of the corners has this Crown Royal bags as well. And these were all the um, the special edition ones that are used for the corners. Nice, man. That's nice. 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 I never made the same call twice. That's nice, right there. How much? Uh, are you saying will you make that for somebody, or that's just for you? I can make a Crown Royal quilt for somebody, but that was my own personal one. <laughs> okay. I have plenty of Crown Royal bags, and what I do is I use a binder. And I, every time I make a special order for somebody, somebody wants a specific uh, quilt, I will write it down on a, on a, on a, on a, I'll start with a tablet and I'll write down for the person their designs and I'll give them an idea, give them a sketch before I even sew it together. Um, and then I'll give them an idea and show them what, what you, is this something you would like? And then I'll right. start sewing if they approve. And then what I usually do is when I do something like that on a special order, um, I'll do also, um, a, like a layaway plan. As long as you give a down payment 
as I make it, I'll give you the upgrade updates as long as it's paid before when I'm done and finished, and then it's shipped to you. What what's the typical cost? Uh, it, it could be from $125 all the way up to my biggest one I did was a king size. That one was $789, but she wanted the pillow sham. She wanted it to go off the floor. She wanted the extra little this and a little extra that. So, yeah. She wanted the whole world. <laughs> yeah. Um, but that was over almost $800, but she paid me over time because she was a school teacher, a teacher from college. And she wanted a very special one, so I, I did it on time with her. And by the time it was done, she paid the balance. Right. Okay. Cool. Cool. But I do. It's, it's like a layaway as long as you keep paying as I go. I'll sell all empty. Oh yeah, sell them Crown Royal bags. They sell. Yeah. You know, I get mine for free. You know what else? <laughs> you know also sell empty um, liquor bottles. Casa Amigo. I have a, just play uh, one of my uh, eBay stores. Uh, Zoom. Yeah, they, they yep. do sell. Now I'm here to tell you they do sell. Yep. Empty you know, liquor bottles. Yeah. The bright name brands. Okay. Even 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 the coffee um cans that um Johnny like. Do you, Johnny, do you sell your empty cans? Empty cans of what? Your coffee, the coffee uh that you like that you that you um uh, what's the name of that coffee? In the yellow. The Louisiana one, the uh, yeah. New Orleans uh, Cafe du Monde. I the orange, the orange. That's the uh, Cafe mm -hmm. du Monde uh, uh, chicory with uh, uh, dark chicory. Yeah. I didn't know they sell them. Hold on, you can sell empty cans. My wife sells them. Let me show you. That must be the Cafe du Monde. Yeah, Cafe de Mon. Mm -hmm. Chicory. Yeah. Oh, I love my chick. They 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 bought they bought up empty cans. Sell them in lots. Uh, I'll, I'll remember that when I go to open them. Yep. They, 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 they on eBay. So look at them. Look at them. Like yeah, she sold about fifteen of them. Wow. <laughs> yeah, also buy the Louisiana bland. I mean you don't do it in the trash, Jen. I usually reuse them. Oh, okay, okay. But I just threw away one a couple of weeks ago. Right. Because I don't keep so many. They're going they, they, they go nowhere. They're going to be right in my eBay room. Oh. <laughs> you know, you know, uh, people got the old way of thinking. They put their money in the um, in the coffee cans, and some people bury bury them still. So that's well, why I probably buy them. My passed away. She had the a uh, man ass drawers. With a rope mm -hmm. in a wall that was tied to the back of a picture frame. So when anybody would try to move the picture frame, the, the string would move with it. So that's how you knew she had stuff in the walls. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was an in wall safe. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and do the giveaway so we can uh, close out the show. We um right at an hour and 22 minutes. So, um, Johnny, you say you want to do a giveaway? I sure do. All right. Let me uh, go ahead and get my screen. You can go ahead and show what you want to give, and then uh, I'll put a screen up. Zesty Lemon Moon Pies. They just I just got these this week. I saw them, and I bought them all out. <laughs> Everything that was on the shelf. <laughs> That's the lemon moon pies. And right. Everybody knows when I do bingo or giveaways on my channel. It's nine times out of ten a box of moon pies. What's up, Mia? You're late. Better late than never. I'll be on Mia's show Monday night, seven o'clock on her auction. Okay. Yep, that's where I'll be Monday night. I'm her guest. All right. Thank you for coming out. Um, oh, but look, when you put them in the microwave for no more than eight seconds with a scoop of ice cream, oh, shut you better. Mm. <laughs> yes, with you. And they have to be in the chat. All right. 
right. Uh, see, put the maze in here. All right, I'm just going to do a, a free spin. Uh, is so little Debbie not, on there? This is say again. Is little Debbie on there? Uh, I think she should be. Can y'all see it? I'm looking. Yeah, she's on here. I see it. Okay, I see her. Yeah, I'm gonna do it one free Another spin. Time. So this doesn't count, y'all. All right, this is for the uh, moon pies. Uh, here we go. Pick it in the hood in here. I think he's gone. Okay, is he gone? He can't win. I think he's gone. Pick it in the hood. Stand up. Stand up, Kel. Picking in the hood, report to the office. Picking in the hood, report to the office. It's not here. Got to be present to win, y'all. Thank you, Don. That's right. Cheryl, Cheryl. Here. Cheryl's here. Cheryl? Cheryl, are you still here? Yes, she is. She still here? Cheryl. Well, All right, Cheryl. Cheryl. Bajan Jim, report to the office. They're going to share those moon pots. There she is. No, there she oh, goes. Okay. She's Cheryl. <laughs> All right. Just in time. You just want yourself a box of lemon, zesty right. lemon moon pies. All right. She be this here. is going to be the last giveaway for the night. Uh, Death Storm. This is DC Comet character. This is the back of the box. Let's see. All right. I'm rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. You're welcome, Cheryl. <laughs> Middle man, he looks like he's all surprised. Man, I, 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 I guess I'm gonna I'm keep this one. Last time I gave the other one away, I keep that. Yeah. All right, that appreciate it, You always send yes, me stuff. That yes, might, might, might well be a tax right, right off for you. <laughs> yeah, you know my taxes, man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, <laughs> basically, I keep up with this stuff. So, because it's a giveaway, I you definitely know I'm gonna write it off. Yep. Um, let's see. <laughs> ben Boo said rig, man. <laughs> hey, oh, Ben Boo, this is the reason why I went to the wheel because the the number game was definitely rigged. Them guys would read my mind. Um. <laughs> The, uh, <laughs> Forgive us. I think I win every week. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, God, leave me. I can't pick a number. Could take this down. You know, one of the tips I want to say too: if anyone reaches yeah, out to Buffalo Picker Tommy for help or need a suggestion, and he tells you what to do or tells you gives you suggestions, follow it. Reach out to him and do what he says because I he has reached I've reached out to him in all of his shows I've, I've been here multiple times, but when he reaches out through Instagram and gives me a tip, you done right. I'm gonna go to my local local area where it's at and I'm gonna see if I got it because I'm gonna get it. Um, yeah, I just definitely follow the follow what he says if he gives you great advice or whatever, and you go and he gives you a tip on something, go check it out. I'm telling you, he's not gonna steer you wrong. I've even on Black Friday before the Black Friday sales. I was here. <laughs> yeah, last year, Tommy would give us little notifications. I'd watch it. I'd go to my local Walmart, and guess what? They were there. Uh, and the week before that too. 
So yeah. Appreciate That's that. Awesome. Yeah. I just got to give that tip out. Don't don't waste his time. Right. Right. Always so, dropping those gems. That's right. And he doesn't mind sharing. Because everybody's right. in a different location. You may not have what he what he's talking about, but you might want to look. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. That, exactly. I love watching. I always go looking for Clarence anywhere. That's what I call it, Clarence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure y'all get out there and take a look. Um, so we're gonna I, I guess we already been around the room. Did anybody else got anything they want to uh say before we close out the show? Oh, um Grandma says that Veronica Mickey has a relist relax next right after this show. Who? Monica uh the Glamour's comment right there. Veronica oh, Mickey. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Right show. That's that's her name hey, right here. Grandma, that's her channel. That's her channel. channel. Say Sunday again, mornings. Mornings. Sunday mornings have coffee with Glamour. Oh, okay. Yeah, Sunday brunch every morning. Uh, Sunday morning at eleven o'clock Eastern. Sometimes I get the notice. Sometimes I don't. Yeah, we had that conversation this morning. Uh, yes, on the morning show. Yeah. All right. Um, so, uh, first off, I want to give a shout out to the chat. Thank you all for coming out uh, every week to support the channel. Uh, we try to start this show on time, Friday night, 730. And uh, just like Johnny said, when we uh, give out information, move on it, uh, because I try to be very transparent with the resale game. Uh, it's enough money out there for everybody to make money. Um, mm -hmm. so, uh, closed hand can't receive and I, and I move off of that. So, you know, if you go walking around with your hand closed or thank you, the only one in the game, you're sadly mistaken. You, you're missing it. You, you're killing your blessing. Yeah. Um, secondly, I want to give a shout out to our special guest, uh, New England Cajun. I got to get used to that. Uh, better known as Johnny. Everybody uh, should know Johnny if you're in this chat room. Uh, continue to support his channel. Uh, I, I can honestly say about our guests is that this guy has promoted my show ever since I've been on YouTube. Ever since we came across each other, Johnny has been here to promote my show. And anytime I come to his channel, and I'm sure uh, everybody in chat can uh, receive this. He make you feel welcome. So, uh, with Hello. That, so, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so with that being said, I appreciate you all. Buffalo Picker, the pin the hustle. See you all next week. Later. Have a good weekend, everyone. Too. God bless.